In the European Parliament, we work a lot on internet policy, and there are some really bad proposals being discussed right now that could threaten the internet as we know it. I'm here with Julia Reda, who is leading the fight against these bad proposals. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Uh, Julia, I'm hearing a lot about the need to save the link, and you're one of the leaders of the Save the Link campaign. Why are links under threat? What is the problem? And why does the link have to be saved? So the European Commission has proposed that publishers should get a new right to forbid or um, allow people from linking to their articles. And we're talking here about articles that the publishers have voluntarily put online themselves for everyone to see. So this is really an attack on the way that the internet works. Because if I want to learn about the world from many different news sources, I use social media, I use news aggregators, and I want to be able to see what my friends might be sharing and what they find interesting. So if they need permission and need to pay in order to link to news articles, that means that nobody will do it anymore. So um, this is a proposal coming mostly from the biggest publishers, German publishers, who want people to go directly to their homepage and not read news from different sources anymore. But I think for media pluralism, for the freedom of the internet, this is a terrible idea. You're from Germany, so you already know. What does this thing work like in practice? Yeah, so in Germany, the publisher successfully lobbied for this link tax in 2013. It's law since then. And they promised that this way there would be a lot of new money for the news industry and there would be quality journalism. What, what actually happened is that uh, they are creating revenues of roughly 5,000 euros per year on the income side. But on the spending side, they're spending millions and millions on court cases about exactly how many words from an article you're allowed to use in a link. And these court cases have been going on for years and there is no solution. So basically, the publishers who lobbied for this law have been losing money as a consequence of it. And at the same time, small startups were sued out of business. That does not sound great at all. No, all the experts in Germany are saying this was a mistake. So I think it would be absurd to now extend it to a European level. Let's try to stop this. Definitely. <laughs> Another thing I hear a lot worrying things about is upload filters. You're against that too. Yes, the upload filter proposal is also part of this uh, commission proposal on copyright and uh, originally the reason for it was to make sure that YouTube pays the music industry but nobody has been able to explain to me how an obligation to use automatic filters to prevent copyright infringement will somehow lead to more payment to authors. I mean most of the authors yes they want to be paid but they also want their content to be visible online and uh, wherever we see these filters in practice, they don't work and they end up deleting a lot of legal content because they are just not able to make the very difficult decisions about what is a copyright infringement and what is maybe a legal quotation or a parody. So when in doubt, they just delete everything. So you mean that the artificial intelligence isn't really up to the task of finding out what is a legal quotation and what is a parody? Yeah, it's really bizarre that on the one hand we say, you know, big platforms like YouTube and Facebook, they have too much power using their algorithms to uh, control our uh, societies instead of the law. And then the solution that is presented is that the, the algorithm should decide what can be put online and what can't instead of the law. And this is completely absurd. Yesterday, a journalist asked me, the artists are saying that they want upload filtering because YouTube isn't paying them enough. So everyone should use upload filtering. What, what would you answer that? 
Well, first of all, a lot of artists that use YouTube in particular have become victims of upload filters. YouTube already has a filter for music uh, called Content ID, and very often it deletes the original work of independent artists. For example, there was a feminist collective that made a music video in Germany. They presented it on television, and afterwards the television channel uh, had their show registered with Content ID, and the original was deleted, and it was a big blow to the campaign. This happens quite a lot. I understand perfectly that uh, people want to be paid for their creations, but the filters don't actually lead to more payment. So what we should be talking about is how do we make sure that YouTube makes fair agreements with the music industry, but these filtering proposals don't just apply to YouTube, they also apply to platforms that don't exploit creators in any way. For example, Wikipedia, where people upload uh, Creative Commons licensed content, or even things like GitHub that software developers use every day as part of their professional activity. So the Commission is proposing things that could really harm small platforms and the internet community and the development of new programs. That's right. Why are they doing this? I think to a large extent they have never even thought about this, these platforms when they made the proposal. They uh, were lobbied very heavily by the music industry. On the one hand you have YouTube lobbying, you know, they don't want to pay, but they have no problem with the filtering obligations. So basically the big platforms are saying, filters maybe, but please don't make us pay. And so we end up with the worst of both worlds, where the offers are not getting anything, uh, the largest platforms get a new business model, they will be able to sell their filters to the small platforms in the future, and the only ones losing out is innovation and the users of the internet who want to have also small platforms, non-commercial platforms, be able to succeed. Right. What can people who watch this video do to stop it? We are going to vote on this in the European Parliament Committee that is responsible on the 21st of June. And until then you have time to contact your representatives, especially the members of the Legal Affairs Committee, but also any member of the European Parliament that is responsible for your region, for your country. Let them know that you don't want the link tax and you don't want upload filters and that it's their responsibility to stop them. Let's do this.